All right, I'm here at Verve. I'm here with Lindia, and we're gonna get a tour of the Santa Cruz HQ and see the production and see the entire supply chain of Verve. This is honestly such an awesome place. Yeah, my name is Lindia. I'm head of training and development here at Verve Coffee. This place is amazing because it is our heartbeat, right? Like all the coffee that comes in and all the coffee that goes out um, it comes through these doors. So all the coffee that makes its way all over the country moves through this space. So we're actually gonna start right here where our coffee arrives. So we have coffee here from all around the world. If you look at these shelves, we've got coffees from Ethiopia, from Kenya, from Colombia, from Costa Rica. Um, so we stage pallets for our blends. We have seven evergreen blends that are always available all the time. And we also have single origin. We're here at Seabright. This is almost a kiosk style cafe, but if we're gonna be roasting coffee to share with our communities, we really wanted to have that direct contact with our local neighborhood. And now we're in the Verve training lab. Yes, so as you can imagine, if we care so much about our sourcing philosophy, we also care a ton about our preparation. So uh, this is where we do training, whether that's for pour overs or brewed coffee, it's where we do all of our recipe development. So any of our basically recipe recommendations that might end up on our website or in the hands of our baristas, that all happens here. It's a really great display of craftsmanship and openness to coffee. And I think it really well aligns the, with the philosophies here at Verve. All right, well, we're here at Verve and I'm here with Colby, who it's is gone. the one of the co-founders of Verve, and it is an honor to be here with you. Oh yeah, likewise, <laughs> thanks. Um, for people who've never heard of Verve before, how would you describe Verve to them? I'd describe Verve probably saying we're a West Coast craft coffee brand. And uh, how, did, how did all of this start? Um, you guys have been around since uh, 2007, I believe, or? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, it's been 15 years and that's, you guys are like kind of one of the, in my opinion, one of the earlier ones around, at least in the Bay Area. And um, how did all of that begin? We were early for sure. In fact, I think besides like Blue Bottle had a kiosk, um, maybe Ritual had just opened. It was, we were like right there pretty early actually. So, but uh, my kind of co-founder partner and I, Ryan, you know, been a, especially Ryan had been involved in coffee for a long time. And we, we both kind of collectively were working, we were working in coffee at, the, at that time separately, but had a, we were seeing what was starting to come, which ended up being what's being called like third wave. So for us, we saw that there was this new trend emerging and we, even though maybe we didn't totally understand it and definitely did not know what it was going to become or and what Verve would become, but we wanted to be part of it. And we loved coffee and we were already working in coffee. We saw this thing happening and thought, this is what we want to do. How would you describe a Verve coffee to someone who's never had it before? You know, <laughs> really good. Really good. <laughs> I grew up in a farming kind of family in that background and it, coffee's a fruit. So but once you start talking about how coffee's a fruit, it really pivots how you think about a coffee. So when you start talking about flavor notes of fruits, it makes sense because coffee is a fruit. If you think about you know, a pleasing acidity or citrus and you think of something as a bean, it could be like sour. But once you frame it around coffee as a fruit, you realize there's this abundance of flavors and potential within that fruit. And like fruit, you probably want your fruit to be sweet. And like your fruit, you, know, you want a ripe fruit, not a green fruit, um, most likely. Uh, and I think our coffee, at the end of the day, I would describe it as sweet, clean, and you know, vibrant, and our some of our blends are more balanced, but they should always be sweet and clean. Okay, now I'm back here in the Verve Cupping Lab, and I'm here with Kylie. 
want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Kylie and I'm Verve's Green Coffee Buyer. Uh, yeah, so this is where we do everything kind of related to sourcing, relationship management. Um, green coffee is kind of that bridge between farm level and street level. What do you look for when you're sourcing coffees? What makes it interesting and what oh, do you man. like about <laughs> it? Yeah, so sourcing coffee uh, to me is really one of those interesting kind of places to fall in the world where it's more than just finding a good cup of coffee, um, but you also never know where that's coming from. So it's like a bit of kind of playing detective and trying to figure out where is the best coffee that I can find, um, which makes it a game and I love that about it. Um, but really what it comes down to when like selecting what we're gonna buy is it's not just about the quality of the coffee, but it also comes down to the farming practices, the producers themselves. We wanna make sure that we're following some of our core values, like ethics and excellence, um, you know, good people, good coffee, doing all the, the right stuff. So there's a lot of moving parts and factors that go into it, um, but yeah, ethics, excellence, good people, good coffee, that's kinda what it comes down to. How would you describe what a Verve cup tastes like to people who've never had Verve before. Yeah, so just like ice cream, you know, you can have chocolate or strawberry or vanilla. It can be all over the board, uh, which is why we have those tasting notes to kind of help guide people along their way. Um, but really what we focus on here is we want our consumers and customers to be able to taste the fruit. Coffee's a fruit. Um, and we want to make sure that the way that we're roasting it, you're not tasting the roast or a process. You're simply tasting whatever fruit flavors are natural in the coffee. Um, you know, that was done by the work of the producers. We're happy to announce that Verve is one of our X Bloom launch partners, and we have an X Bloom here. And I think it would be really fun to brew some coffee on it and kind of discuss what this unlocks for the home. What do you think this brings to the table for, totally. for the home? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, just from what I've seen um, and brewing it and getting to be a little bit more familiar with this machine as a whole, I think it totally brings a new just level of specialty coffee to home brewers. Mm -hmm. Um, cause you can go to a coffee shop and get a great pour over and you're like, wow, this is amazing. And then you buy a bag and you go home and you're like, it's not as good. And it's like, how, why, why is that the case? And I think this really solves a lot of those problems. It brings the cafe experience to your house. Um, and a big part of the cafe experience is the coffee knowledge, the proper water, all of those things, the proper brewing devices. So in one machine, from my perspective, it brings that really elevated, high quality, specialty coffee brewing experience inside your home. And I think that's huge. And we'll be using some really fancy coffees, some really great Verve coffees that Kylie here will be, have some, we'll, she'll, she'll have source for us. And yeah. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, now let's brew some coffee on the X Bloom. Cool. I just pour this in the top. You have to scan. Then you pour it in. <laughs> and you put that there. There we go. This is so neat. It's really cool how you can, how the water stream will move. Um, depending on how you want it to flow. Mm -hmm. And weren't you saying that it's programmed to stop so it doesn't overflow? Yeah, so there is a weight sensor in here, so depending on how darkly roasted the coffee is, it will prevent it from overflowing. So there we go, now it's done brewing. And we have an amazing cup of Verve Sermon. This is probably one of my favorite blends, and I feel like that's pretty, pretty common among Verve employees. Um, Sermon is easily a fan favorite. It's great as a pour over, but it's also really great on espresso. And this coffee for me, you kind of get the full, you get a little bit of like the coffee taste aside from just coffee. Mm. And you get like the fruity blueberryness yeah, and the fun, lighter, delicious notes of coffee. Mm. <laughs> I haven't had much of Sermon recently. Yeah. So, 
we just brewed a cup of Verb Sermon and it, and what's really cool with this is we're able to let roasters express the way the coffee is supposed to taste, the way they intend the coffee to taste. That's what we're really excited about and we really appreciate the uh, Verve to be being a part of this and I just really want to thank Kylie for being here and, and talking about Verve coffee and how all the good coffees are sourced and all of that. But yeah, this is a tasty cup. Yeah, Great. I mean, I think the X-Bloom is just really cool because Coffee is such a communal experience, going to coffee shops, going to the whole, that's Verve's thing is like street level. That's our signature espresso because it's just, you're there with everybody. Um, but I think, you know, coffee is also a super personal experience if you want it to be. Um, and that's where I feel like X Bloom is kind of connecting those pieces of getting the high quality specialty coffee taste while being at home. Um, and I know like our menu is constantly changing um, just as coffees go in and out of season year after year. So I think it's really neat that you can program this or we can program this to share with customers how we think, hey, this, this year's version of this coffee will be best brewed like this and they can have that cafe-like experience mm -hmm. from the comfort of their own home. We're gonna be working really closely together on picking those coffees for you guys and we'll have them all dialed in and, and you're going to be able to taste the coffees the way that Verve intends them to taste. And I think that's so much fun and I just wanted to thank Kylie for being a part of this and telling us about Verve and brewing some coffee on the X Bloom. So, yeah. Yeah, awesome. thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks for bringing this down here. It was a yeah. super, super fun way to try it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, cool.